One of the most effective ways to conserve energy is by using a technology called district energy. It's a proven technology that's been around for decades. In some places, more than a century. Most major cities and college campuses have a district energy system. Here's how it works. Heating and cooling are provided to multiple buildings from a central energy plant. Steam, hot water, or chilled water from the plant is transmitted 24-7 via underground pipes to customer buildings. The heating and cooling energy is transferred to the building's heating and air conditioning system, keeping everyone comfortable day and night. Here in Youngstown, about 70 buildings are already on the district steam system. These buildings have saved $50 million collectively in capital costs because they did not have to install their own boiler systems. The first benefit to Youngstown's steam system is saving $50 million in capital. The second benefit is that Youngstown Thermal is saving building owners $5 million per year in fuel, only costs by not using natural gas. This capital and operational benefit is only the beginning. What if we added more buildings and created a district steam system twice the size of the existing system? The capital benefit would go up to $100 million and fuel advantage would approach $10 million. That would be a big deal for Youngstown and it is doable. Youngstown Thermal has been able to keep rates so low because of our large 70 building customer base, including the YSU Campus, Chase Bank, Home Savings, Huntington Bank, First National Bank, YMCA, the Butler Art Museum, the Dior Performing Arts Center, and the Youngstown Business Incubator, as well as 40 other buildings downtown. As we add additional buildings to the steam and cooling system, rates can be lowered and maintained over long periods of time for everyone and can be used as a primary ingredient in the quality growth and development of Youngstown's city center and campus districts. Like other district energy systems throughout the world, Youngstown Thermal has the flexibility of using less expensive fuels that are kinder to the environment. The Youngstown system plans are to use wood waste as fuel for the next few years and then switch to waste heat as fuel. A master plan for energy would look like this. A new steam line would link the two hospitals to the north and to Cavelli Center and the city treatment plant to the east. Once this larger system is implemented, Youngstown would join a list of cities that have used advanced energy systems and technology for economic development of their respective cities. Let's use our steam system as an energy foundation on which to build a better Youngstown and have Youngstown join the ranks of great cities like Nashville, St. Paul, Jamestown, and Paris. The deliberately used collective district energy systems to bring economic stimulus to their respective cities. District energy is a foundation for a smart, sustainable energy future. Tomorrow's energy, today.